Hi everyone, this is Vanessa, the Exploring Oracle or the Exploracle for short. So today I'm very excited to show you this version of the Gentle Tarot, the Gentle Tarot in a tin. So I don't have the full-sized first edition of this, of this deck, but I'm really, really very excited that I was able to get the tin version. So today we're just going, I'm just going to show you the cards. It's going to be a, a flip through of all of the cards in the gentle tarot so if you're familiar with the original version then you might already know what the cards look like but i just wanted to show you in case you don't have the tin so just going through the, what uh, what the tin looks like so you have the the symbols here and um the color is like a light teal and purple and it's it's really nice i, I love the color scheme for this particular tin uh, i know that she also mentioned that this is the first tin that actually has a slide out uh, mechanism so compared to uh, the other tin boxes that just pop the top off so this is the first slide one. so it's very secure it's a lot more secure because it's not going to the top's not going to come off so i'm really really uh, excited about this i i do love tin decks uh, i like smaller decks because my hands are a bit small uh so so yeah I, i'm going to show you what each card looks like and what you can expect if you have this version okay so first we're going to slide it off and you're going to see that she provided some stickers um here and the guidebook is actually something that you would have to download so i'm just covering it um <clears throat> so that uh, out of respect for for the author so if you have this you can download the, the pdf guidebook by scanning the qr code and you have here the deck uh, which if you would see there's actually like a reflective um, pattern on the cards and there is this ribbon the side so that it's very secure inside this box so you have an inner <clears throat> an inner uh, guard so that they really fit snug there and uh, you have this so that you can pull out the cards easily okay so this is what it looks like i'm just going to remove this paper wrapping oh my gosh i cannot remove this paper wrapping all right okay so it has beautiful gilding gold gilding so it's not this uh the the type of gilding that would I don't think it would be the one that would ship off easily so it's really beautiful it complements the backs and the backs are also reversible okay so I'll just set up for the flip through and we'll look at the cards one by one okay so I'm not sure why but my deck started with a suit of cups so I'm just keeping it as is uh, but here uh, I'll go through each card and then later on we'll shuffle and see how it shuffles <clears throat> so the cardstock is a really nice mat it feels very sturdy and it would hold up uh, to a lot of uh, shuffling in the future uh, the borders are also color coordinated it would seem i think that would also be the same as uh, the first edition so as usual, please feel free to pause, slow down, or speed up this flip through if you want to look at the cards better. Uh, and she has renamed the cards. So you have the seed, the root, the flower, and the harvest. Oh, okay. So we're going to the major arcana now. So we have the Fu. The Magician, the High Priestess, oh, our Empress. I can't explain, the art looks so realistic but also magical, I think it's the term that I want to say. It's really beautiful. So I don't have the full size of this deck. But I really want to. But I, I know that she's releasing a second edition by next year. So I'm trying to hold off and just support that. Um, I think one of the changes would be this lover's card. 
compared to oh sorry this lover's card or i'm not sure actually but here you would have uh two lover's cards i think the original version might be this one and then she added this in this version yeah so i'm i <laughs> i don't know if i'll be tempted to get the full version i, I do want it but um you know if i know she's really releasing a second edition soon and uh i don't really want to you know keep obtaining things and then just have to rehome it so these are the beautiful cards oops Some, it really does have this gentle energy I don't know why I feel that way <laughs> but it does it does make you feel that way it really is a gentle tarot then you have the one. and there is an extra card called the NC. Okay, so now we'll move on. I think these are the pentacles, so it's been renamed to stones. Mm -hmm. There's really a lot of diversity in this deck as well, so that's also a good thing. Oh, I love turtles. Seven. The eight. No. The interpretations are also, you know, not the traditional RWS, but I think you can easily pick up on the meanings if you just look at the cards. The seed. We have flower and the harvest oh <laughs> so cute okay let's move on to the thunder suit which i think would be the wands oh sorry this this would be the sword suit i haven't read the guidebook yet i uh, would still have to download it So this is the Six of Swords, and then the Seven, the Eight, Nine, Ten, Our Page, Knight, Queen. And the king. Okay, moving on to our last suit, the suit of wands. And again, the borders are different depending on the suit. So this would make it easier for you to identify, you know, uh, if you have, let's say, a lot of fire energy or water in, or if you have a lot of major arcanas in your spread. Really nice. I really like this deck. Eight. So I think uh, I would I would really be tempted to get the bigger version, but for now I am I'm going to wait. Three of Wands. Then you have the Queen and the King. Okay, so I zoomed out a bit to show you how this deck shuffles. Maybe let's let me get an even pile. <laughs> I ripple shuffle all my decks. So this is still new, so I think I still have to break it in a bit. It also has a thicker card stock. But I can still riffle it, I can still bridge it with no problem. And as mentioned, I think the gilding 
uh, isn't the type that would chip easily. Okay, one more. Yes. All right. And then, of course, if you also do hand over hand, it's very easy to do this with this cardstock and with this deck. Uh, so I can't really read from the guidebook. I haven't downloaded it yet. Uh, that's my bad. <laughs> but um, I guess we can just take a look at the the cards one more time. So I really love this deck. I'm really tempted to get the first edition, the bigger size. But uh, I think I can hold off and wait until the second edition Kickstarter next year. Oh, I love the diversity. I love the art that's represented here. It's really well thought of and you can really feel the energy in this deck. And uh, Mary was also very, very responsive to my questions. She's been very nice. Uh, I messaged her on her Etsy, asking her about the second edition. She gave me tips on whether I should wait for the second edition or if I can, as you know, what the differences are. So this is really a beautiful, well thought of deck. I try not to um, be over enthusiastic when I do these flip throughs, but this is this is really something special, and. You know, if you if you don't have this yet, I, it's it's a great addition to your collection. Oh, really, I love this lover's card. I think this is the original card. I have to read up on that. Uh, but yeah, that's so beautiful to me. And it's, there's a differences in color in the style, which is just amazing. Um, anyway, so again, this has been the Gentle Tarot. I can't wait to work with it. I'll be downloading the the PDF later tonight so thank you for watching if you enjoy this content please consider liking and subscri subscribing to my channel this has been vanessa thanks and see you again next time bye